What is it that we could leave on that might cost one pence an hour? Leave a light on. The computer. If a uh, hundred people wasted one pence an hour for a year, it would be at least nine thousand pounds that they're wasting. Excellent. We've decided that we wanted to become a sustainable school. We wanted to become self-sufficient in energy and carbon neutral as a starting point. We see ourselves to be a partnership of schools within this part of the world. And so therefore what we've got is the expertise to be able to help and support them with the thinking and with getting other team players and other partners on board as well. We've commissioned energy audits for the 11 primary schools that feed into us and we've helped them with energy efficiency. Four of them have now got their own solar PV systems. There's another primary school that we're likely to do a, a wind turbine with as a joint project. Um, so they're examples of how we've linked with, with other schools. We got a dashboard which uh, is now actually indicating to us the amount of energy we're, we're making, the amount of energy that we're using, the cost to us per hour of the energy exp you know, expenditure. The solar is how much we're generating with the solar panels, which is about 7,000 watts. Um, this one's how much we're importing through the meter, which is about 105,000 watts. If you were looking to make savings, your first thing is being able to measure accurately what you're using. So I would say that dashboard is your best investment because you can identify unnecessary use. After that, the next best thing is to try and educate users to switch off unnecessary use. And, and then when you've squeezed it as much as you can, the logical thing is to put re your renewables in at that point in time. The solar panels give us quite a bit of electricity, particularly this time of year. But interestingly, the majority of the savings, significant amount anyway, are through people turning stuff off that's not needed. Mostly we go around school turning the lights off, as you see, keen, trying to keep the teachers make sure that they uh, save energy as well because most teachers actually have a competition between them to see how many they can get green faces. Every Thursday night we go around to the teachers and if they're wasting electricity we'll give them one of these and if they're saving electricity we'll, we'll give them one of these and all the teachers like collect them but none of them like one of them. Youngsters are turning lights off when they come out of classrooms now. Corridors are, are sort of, the lights are turned off in between lessons. The youngsters are doing this. It's not, it's not members of staff doing that. That's the youngsters. So we can see that things are working. We, we are, are the STEM Club. We are here today at Oak Campton Primary School to tell them about renewable energy. We are Oak Campton College STEM Club. Renewable energy is a good alternative for fossil fuels. Renewable means it never runs out. If you are using renewable energy, you still have to be careful of how you use the energy to get the most out of it. You should try to do this at home. Well, the STEM club just went to the primary school today, really, to say hello to the pupils there. It's an example of, of how we try and network with our local primary schools. Um, the idea really was to just go and spread the message about uh, electricity costs money uh, and, it, and it's, there's an environmental cost as well actually and just to raise awareness of that and try and make everyone better users of energy. As an educational establishment we're sending out the next generation of consumers, the next generation of, of travellers out into the world and so the more that we can inform them so that they can make their own decisions then we feel that that's what we're here for. This it is a energy sign to remind people not to waste energy. It says think is this light necessary and the idea is that well, if you see you will turn the light off. The fact that we're opening children's minds to this type of thinking, the fact that we've got so many links with so many partner organisations now, the fact we can see this teamwork of organisations coming together, it really makes this a real genuine opportunity. I think it's important that the college is an example because it's rubbing off on other people as well. So um, it's not just affecting me, although kind of students see it directly, it's then moved on to other people and transferred to like the rest of my family and like not just my immediate family, the whole family, and then obviously they'll talk to other people about it. We went loads of steps in trying to make it better for the environment. So it just builds you up with a great sense of pride really. 